dua Pinter kita apa Skip pada depan Cukup kena di papu It's in a SWW Baby life show Not a dang great night On a regular night Nothing weird We've done no cocaine We've done no cocaine We've done no cocaine Hey Justin, how are you man? Great! <laughs> old people burning, old people burning, put your hands up. Do you remember that? No. Uh, I've reached the wonderful, wonderful age where I am still, I'm, I'm not going to say cool, but uh, uh, cogent enough to try to impress my kids, but my yeah. kids are old enough to encounter transgressive humor. Okay. Uh, which means that my 20-year-old, my 16-year-old, and my 11-year-old got to revisit uh, this classic. Uh, would, do you remember this song? The uh, uh, Here we go. Like the movie Attack of the Clones, I'm dangerous. Do you remember this? Like no. Fire in a nursing home. It's a... Uh, old people burning, old people burning. <laughs> oh, this is a uh, uh, John LeJoie. That's right. Burning, old people burning. <laughs> it's kind of messed up. What? what? <laughs> so, so that's the guns don't kill people. Uh-uh. I kill people ch -ch -ch with guns. And uh, <laughs> and so when I found out that Josie hadn't seen it, I was like, uh, it's an older meme, sir, but it checks out. Yeah. <laughs> and, so, and so I played it. And Penny was tuned out in the other room. So I was play so Bonnie's in the other room. She can hear it. I'm it's me and Josie. Penny can hear it. Bonnie can hear it. Forgot that Callie could hear it. Mm. <laughs> Callie at the She's younger. <laughs> Callie at the tender age of eleven. Yeah. <laughs> has spent an entire week every time it gets quiet. <laughs> Callie will bust out, uh, oh, people burning, oh, people burning, put your hands up. And I thought, oh, dear. <laughs> uh, it's a banger. It's it, a banger. Yeah, it is. Uh, uh, how was By your way, Have you ever seen The League? Uh, I, you know what? I, I knew it was about a sportsy fantasy thing, and I've been a fan of Jean Lejoie. Like, I first found him before FX did. Yeah. And uh, so I it's was scary. cheering for it, but I never watched it. Yeah. Uh, the league seemed like you know what I, all, all, all I, star I, I was team the guild as it uh, all star cast as it turned out it's uh, Nick Kroll, wow. Tom Lajoie, and uh, 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 one of the Duplasses of 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 of, of, the, of, the, of the Duplass brothers that have uh, directed above. Oh yeah yeah yeah. Uh, wait, Mark didn't... Mark Mark Duplass, I believe. Wait, the Duplasses weren't the Stranger Things. No, which what do they do? Uh, uh, more boring indie movies. Okay. Yeah. But, but with a D. Like, so imagine the Stranger Things. Yeah. Where it's like fan friendly and yeah. reminds you of old shit. Yeah. None of that. Okay. Boring indie movies. Okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, but, but, but there's like an under, an underbelly. But there's usually dark... an element of relatability for which the character on the league, uh, 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 does. So like, if you know shit about football, like. It's not really about football. It's about a bunch of people who are in a fantasy league. Uh, uh, kind, 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 kind of like uh, the Guild? Kind of like the Guild. Yeah. It's, but it came out first, and the Guild was, like, copying it? No. This would have copied the Guild, but been a way more successful. Oh, okay. <laughs> the yeah. Guild, actually. Yeah. With Tra a more memorable cast. Tracks. Yeah. Tracks. Yeah. Uh, can, can, can we get one bit of housekeeping that absolutely requires some fact checking from chat realm? Um, sure. On, yeah. on our drive. I'll Let's go ahead. <laughs> fact checking time. So on our drive fact check. <laughs> out to the East Coast. <laughs> Stamp. We went to a lot of Wendy's. And oh, wait, hold on. When were you on the East Coast? Oh, uh, that, that's uh, in the last seven days, I've driven 2,500 miles trapped in a tin can with a, a family of five. Setting it up for the audience. Go on. <laughs> <laughs> There's only a few places that we could go that are allergy safe. Mm -hmm. So we went to a lot of Wendy's. Yep. And I kept being confused. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Not that restaurant. <laughs> uh, I, 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 by the fact... That Wendy's is selling something called Saucy Nugs. Mm. Now, mm. 
Mm. I am coming to you humbly, Justin Robert Young, yeah. and sincerely. Yep. Normally, we play a game of Is Brian Fooled? And I am asking you sincerely, should Brian be fooled because conspiracy-minded Brian, shortest path, path brushwood, and, and if anybody has a link to the YouTube video supercut of the, the DNA that traces it in the beginning well, during right, COVID. Let's, let's, let's bring this back, right? During COVID, we were having, we were doing seven episodes a day. Yes. We uh, of happy crazy. hour. And uh, 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 everything was insane. And at some point, we got to a point of talking about buffalo wings versus boneless buffalo wings. And Brian went ham on the idea that boneless buffalo wings were not buffalo wings. They were saucy nugs. Well, now, so this, yeah, now yes. shortly after that, there was a video that went legit fucking viral about a guy going to his local city council not, and arguing that buffalo wings weren't wings. They were just saucy nugs. Not, what we found out was that that dude... That, that dude is Anders Christensen, a good friend of the show. Exactly. He went all over, did a thing for Nebraska. He, he like, like did a, a little bit. It was a really, really, really fun time. And then Wendy's announces that they have saucy nugs. Uh, so what I would ask for you, Brian, is to please look up the Google search trends for saucy nugs. Okay. All right. This is this is exactly what consp would not fooled Brian would do. Yeah. Trends. Because that's Google. like if you invented the term saucy nugs. We, we, everything is communal property uh, here. But mostly you. Uh, 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 yeah, you, you were the one who said it, and so I want to give you the credit. Uh, you said that at this time during the pandemic. Holy shit, there are two spikes. Uh, well, uh, actually, this is in the past day. Oh, <laughs> so uh, let's never go. Mind. Let's go the past five years. Okay. All right. So th we have here. Let's see. The very first spike is uh, August 30th, September 5th, 2020. Okay. Which, That's us. Which may or may not be us, uh, I assume. Uh, and then we have a, 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 a bit later, Saucy Nugs, a giant spike in July 9th through 15th, 2023, which I would assume. No, that wasn't that recent, was it? Um, we did not do anything. No, no, no. The The... the the 2020 spike is probably our boy going viral. Yeah. And then uh, uh, that, I don't know what happened in 2023, but that would be the only other explanation of why Wendy's went with uh, Saucy Nugs because now shit is like way popping off because a restaurant chain decided to name their oh. boneless buffalo wings. Uh, G. James B. says that KFC tried a precursor around this time in uh, 2023 called Saucy Nugs. Uh, but also, I believe... Oh, then we... that means that you definitely invented it. Yeah. You invented it for both. Yeah. Uh, because Anders Christensen got it from you. Yes. He went viral there. Brian, congratulations. I'm not fooled. What? Oh! Double complete rape. <laughs> That's awesome, dude. Uh, yeah, we did it. We did it. Wow, dude. Godfather of Saucy Nugs. <laughs> I mean, you are the a team originator. Effort. You are the 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 progenitor of saucy nugs. You are the paterfamilias of saucy nugs. Uh, okay, here we go. I think we. Got you did it. <laughs> Brian did it, everybody. All right. Keep no, the no. applause going in the chat. All right, Brian, uh, you're the saucy nugs man. Yeah, it says here. Brian Saucy Nugs Brushwood dead today at the age of 61. <laughs> it's like, that's, that's what, that's what goes on my tombstone. That's what they say on television <laughs> because you invented Saucy Nugs. Uh, ICU documented it. Uh, if you look uh, uh, for the Saucy of the Saucy Nugs, Saga oh, of the Saucy oh, Nugs. Oh, my whatever. God. So, yeah. I wonder what was going on, man. <laughs> 4 16 Fucking, The pandemic was a weird time, dude. <laughs>
Uh, yeah, you man. look like you are like selling fentanyl out of a flute. <laughs> I mean, why? Why would anybody care about how they looked in a time that we we're all in lockdown? <laughs> <laughs> you like you like you you look like you're gonna sell your own child to molest. Look 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 at the two of us. I look like oh fucking I, I look like the dude Popeye beats up before he gets the Pluto. <laughs> Piece of shit. <laughs> I, look like, I look like a French bag of trash. <laughs> <laughs> You're about to either bust out into mime or sell me crack. <laughs> you. <laughs> <laughs> and then, uh, yeah, so the saga of the saucy nugs. Yeah, dude, we got receipts. Uh, and so it was eight thirty one twenty. So I guess I sh oh, do. Do I have the yeah? The, so eight thirty one twenty was the big. Oh yeah. So I guess I guess it was us first, and then Anders uh, blew it up at the Lincoln City Council. Yep. And then uh, and I remember at some point people like on the NBA court were making jokes about uh, saucy nugs, and it got a little kiss on ESPN or something. Uh, and now, like, uh, I guess, I guess, I mean, you, they have to be, that have to, have, I mean, do you yeah. think they had to have known, right? I mean, dude. Okay. All right. Take the win. All right. Yeah. Look okay. at the proof. Okay. Saucy Nugs Godfather. Hey, look at that Brian genius. Brushwood. Look at that fucking genius. <laughs> no, 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 no. Play, play the clip so we all know. All right. All right. Yeah. It, it, it's, it's, uh, 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 fucking, uh, uh. The art teacher who touches the smaller of your back and uh, <laughs> is a, a, a pre Belushi sidekick that uh, are going to host the show. All right. Nothing. I don't believe in them. They're they're just chicken nuggets that are flavored. Uh, too infantile by a lot. Uh, do I have a problem with the nugs? No, not when they're nuggets. Yes, I have a problem when you pretend they're chicken wings. Plus one bone, boneless wings are just really good chicken nuggets. Uh, and also half the time you wind up getting the like, they're boneless wings. Oh, first of like, all, boneless wings are an abomination. They are a sin against yeah. God and humanity itself. They need to be destroyed. They're fucking worse than chicken nuggets. Chicken nuggets are honest and pure and Oh, this is multiple God. times, apparently. <laughs> we were we were really on this. Bring me your Wendy's. Bring me your Chick-fil-A's. But, but fucking set fire to the very idea of glazed, sweet... I'm looking at you, TGI Fridays. Fucking <laughs> boneless... Fucking remove the word boneless from wings. Period. I mean, but the only they only say that because it's going to come with either a, a, a barbecue trenching or a buffalo sauce trenching. That's the only reason why they say boneless wings, right? Because there's an, it, it's it's unnatural to say uh, coated nuggets. <laughs> you know what? I demand. In fact, I would love somebody in their small town to bring up to city uh, council the, a proposed legislation that they cannot call them boneless wings, but instead must call them coated nugs. <laughs> okay. I promise I won't take up too much. Oh, time. shit. So and this is... Uh, we did not say the words. words. Oh, we didn't say. Oh, so it is. Anders is. We said coat. We said, we said coated, coated nugs. Uh, Brian, I take it back. I take away all of my praise for you. God damn it! God damn it! Without even understanding their. All right. Well, now we are the inspiration. Oh no! I mean, like, I mean, we, as, as he has admitted on the show, we are the inspiration. Yeah. No. But but essentially, all we did was dance on top of a mountain and then claim credit for an avalanche, as as we are wont to do. Yes. Yeah. Mm. Now, whether or not it was him fucking up our point <laughs> and coming up with something different and going viral, well, that's Number a different one. story. No, regardless, maybe, all, all he, credit to Anders, man. Maybe, maybe he should have said coated nugs and it would have been bigger. Was mislabeling their cuts of meats, but then we go around and pretending as though the breast of the chicken is its wing. <laughs> Number two, boneless chicken wings are just chicken tenders, which are already boneless. I don't go to order boneless tacos. 
I don't go and order boneless club sandwiches. I don't ask for boneless auto repair. It's just what's expected. <laughs> Actually, no. All point, credit goes to Andy. We raise our children better. Our children are raised being afraid of having bones attached to their meat. That's where meat comes from. It grows on bones. We need to teach them that the wing of a chicken is from a chicken, and it's delicious. I propose that we rename boneless wings in the city of Lincoln. We can call them buffalo-style chicken tenders. We can call them wet tenders. We can call them saucy nugs or trash. Fucking <laughs> A plus delivery on that too, man. So good. Oh, there it is. There's our guest star. Oh man, for a second I thought oh, stupid memory. Let me tell you how I Dan, invented you were travel. you you commanded Wendy's in your head for like five days. Yeah, it was a good it was a good run. Good it was time. a good run. I mean, but do but, you? Look, would you rather, hey, hey Justin, would, would you, you rather be the Beatles? Wendy's? Will you <laughs> remember <laughs> that time? <laughs> Wendy took orders from you. <laughs> Don't let your life pass you by. <laughs> remember that time you influenced. <laughs> Nobody. <laughs> uh, Wendy. <laughs> I mean, would I you? I was trying to be nice. You wanted to take it to a sub depreciated place, and that's the problem, Brian. You need to be nicer to yourself. Well, I, mean, I was trying to sing a song about you that was that was good, and you <laughs> and you made it bad. <laughs> okay. Well, uh, why? Uh, I, Answer that question. Why? I, I, well, I have, uh, I, 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 I'll have the We're answer. We're breaking it down right now. It's a Wednesday show. Nobody knows what happens on Wednesdays. On Tuesdays, it's comedy. On Wednesdays, it could be anything. <laughs> it's interrogation Wednesdays yep, on Great Wednesday. <laughs> It's Torture Thursdays. <laughs> it's, it's don't don't even you don't want to know what happens on Friday. It's Therapy Thursdays. Uh. <laughs> So uh, we went out to uh, – we had a family reunion, and it was – turns out when you got five members of the family and there's not a lot of Southwest options and you don't have enough points and you have to look at ugh, other airlines uh, where you have to pay money and uh, to get out to it, then somehow it becomes affordable to just drive yeah. from Austin all the way out to um, – Dairy? An hour north of Jacksonville, as yeah. we talked about on the show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, uh, so uh, uh, se seven days, 2,500 miles. And uh, the bargain with the kids was uh, that we were going to wrap a because I didn't want to go do this and then also go do a family vacation because I got work to do. I have to make money. Uh, and so we were going to wrap the proper vacation around it. So we were going to go to the beach on the way out. And then on the way back, we'd go to – the Georgia Aquarium in Atlanta, Which, Georgia. That, that was that was the the thing that your daughters wanted to do more than anything else. Yeah, uh, and they love fish, huh? Uh, uh, they they sure do. Damn. <laughs> and so I mean, like some people love fish, but, but they, that's really they love, love fish. Because uh, I don't know if if, if y'all have seen Georgia lately. But uh, not a lot of the, fish. The, the bottom of Georgia is far away from Atlanta. Well, look, Atlanta is uh, uh, Algonquin for an hour south of Tennessee. <laughs> I mean, oh, I'm sorry, I was taking a sip, or I would have joined in on that. Um, the uh, uh, so it, it was a fair bit out of the way. Yep, but turns out totally worth it. Uh, the kids were there to see the fish. Mm -hmm. I I was there, and I was joyful for a different reason. Why? Well, uh, first of all, we. Uh, wrap up the family reunion. We get up at uh, uh, what? Uh, I don't know, but like I'm up at five thirty. They get, get everything loaded. Get the kids in the car. Hell like, yeah! We're going to this aquarium. Yep. Uh, we haul ass to the aquarium. We get there. They open at nine. They close at nine. Uh, we get there eleven a.m. And Let's meanwhile, go. all my family, all my family, scaring me with a bunch of talk about how 
Uh, do you have tickets, reservations? Mm-hmm. You know, you have to do it way in advance. What if it's full? What they if never let you in. The starfish are mean. That's yes, yes. Yeah, and so uh-huh. and so, I'm letting. I'm the letting, paraffin will call you the N word. I'm letting. That's what that's what I've heard on Yelp. I'm letting all that get in my head yes. on the ride up. To this aquarium, uh-huh. largest aquarium in the Western Hemisphere. How yep. busy can it be? Uh, and so uh, we, we, we show up, we park, and I'm like, oh, my God, I, I, I think it looks pretty empty. And we walk up, we walk around the corner. Swear to God, Justin. Swear to God, Justin. Mm-hmm. This is the greatest thing I ever saw at an aquarium. What's that? There was a stanchion and another stanchion and another stanchion and another stanchion and another stanchion and all the way this twisting stuff. No people. No line. I literally started strutting. Ain't no stopping us now. We're seeing the paraffin. <laughs> is he calling you the N-word? Is it friendly or is it mean? We find out. Ain't no stopping us now. The brush was on the move. <laughs> and, and I'm all like, hey, boss, what's going on? Uh, how busy is it today? They're like, there's literally nobody in this entire Ain't no building. no one but here but fish. <laughs> Ain't no one here but fish. That's it. it. Uh, start strutting in, start strutting in. Like, oh, damn, oh, damn. And so we walk up. And so uh, I walk up to, you know, just just uh, the first group of people I walk up to, uh, uh, I think we were getting food first. And there was like three people in uniform. And I'm like, hey, how are you doing? Um, Listen, we've driven 1,200 miles. And these kids really just want to see one thing, that whale shark that you got. I'm told that the moment they dump over all the minnows and it gobbles them up, that's really a special moment. Do you know when that is? And they're like, I, I don't, they feed them every day. I think it was like around two yesterday. And it's like, okie dokie. And then I'm like, okay, thanks. And then we step aside. Now, Josie is fully done up. Like, you know, she's got rocking hair that she's got. She is in a full on elegant dress because she wants to get awesome photos looking awesome. And, uh, and then one of the three walks over and is like, Hey, um, uh, I, I, you know, if, if you don't catch them at two with that special feeding, then, uh, 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 find me over at this theater a little bit uh, around four and I'll, I'll show you something special. And so, uh, and, and it was just like, Oh my God. And so we ended up getting like a backstage tour and all nice. this stuff, stuff that you would normally have to pay a lot of money for. So yeah. anyway, like, Hey boss, Brian, happy as can be. Uh, uh, we, we go to eat. There's a high top table, four chairs and we need a fifth chair. And so I'm scanning and I'm like, and I walk over to a table. I'm like, I'm like, hey, uh, if you're not using that chair, could we borrow it? And they're like, no, 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 somebody's going to sit there. I'm like, no problem. I walk over to the next table. And I'm like, uh, three people, open chair. And I'm like, uh, <clears throat> uh, hey, guys, uh, if you're not using this chair, uh, uh, do you mind if we? And then and, and this, this, this girl goes, uh, Ryan. Oh, no. And I look up, and I'm like, yeah? And she goes, it's Echo Proxy Diamond <laughs> Club. <laughs> <laughs> so I just That's try it. why she's in the chat. <laughs> I tried to hey boss one of our own. You tried to hey boss Echo. <laughs> yes. It was it was truly a wonderful experience. Holy shit. <laughs> Um, uh, yeah, and then she busted out a photo of like, this is the first time we met 14 years ago. I'm like, wait, hold on, hold on. So, uh, 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 it, it, <laughs> Eka visiting with the family to the aquarium. Yes. I, know, I know she's local to Atlanta, but, uh, uh, she, like, she had out of town family. Gotcha. So and she's was, bringing she was, the peace. Yes. And she, she gave on, 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 by the way, locals move. Bring it on a low traffic day, which yep. you guys lucked into. Yep. Uh, <laughs> uh, amazing. She uh, she uh, gave us the lowdown on uh, which were all the good shows. I mean, there are two shows, but don't even bother with that dolphin show. The, sea, the sea lion no, shows no. where it's at. Rapist, by the way. <laughs> I'm on the forums. Actually. I'm on the forums. <laughs> Uh, yeah, no, it was, it was, uh, it was a really, really fun, surprising moment. And there, there were good memories of dragon cons and it made me, uh, I know, I know this year of course is off the menu for a number of reasons, but, uh, as soon as we can, oh man, it'd be, it'd be really great to, to go back to dragon con. Don't, don't tease me. I, I, I'm not. There was you. one person. There was one person who stopped the dragon con experience. Yes. It was the one person who had to lug 
three hundred pounds of stuff through the crowds. Not, not for our show. <laughs> no, not, not for, our, for show. our show. Not for our show. Not for <laughs> our show. Our show only asks to bring your drunk ass so we could just be drunk with our friends. Yeah, yeah. that's it. Huh? Right. That's that's right. Right. We'll 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 repair things. Not this year. Not this year. Not this year. But because they wouldn't. Book us in the crystal ballroom for my wife to give birth. <laughs> I would have preferred that, but the suits decided they didn't want it. And what's uh, 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 hold on, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, let's go ahead and introduce our guest for the show. Uh, that is Mr. Andrew Heaton. Hello. Ladies and gentlemen, hey. from the political Wait, orphanage. Can, can I watch your wife give birth? Like I, I'll show up. Yes. Really. Yeah, like sure. Like, I can put on a mask and stuff and meet yeah, the room? Yeah, get on in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I don't know. If, are you going to be in town? When is it? Uh, Labor Day. Can you reschedule? No. Okay. Uh, <laughs> and also, I don't know when it is. I'll have, I'll have to check. In fact, I'll have it to might check. be when we have a live show in Chicago <laughs> that I may or may not be there for. Uh, yeah. All right. Um, if I can be there, I will. Hey, if I'm in Austin, I will. A hundred percent. I'm going to set up that Facebook event. You can hit maybe. <laughs> Great. Yes. That's good. That's good. Good. Uh, 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 Heaton's here. Uh, 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 Brian, continue your story. Uh, 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 just, to, just to get you up, Brian was on a big, long road trip. They eventually got to Atlanta. They went to the aquarium. Uh, Brian tried to uh, hey boss a bunch of people in a cafeteria and turned out one of them was a longtime fan. Oh, and wow. There's a paraffin that says the N word. That'll come in uh, at the very end. Go ahead. Uh, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, no. Anyway, what else happened? Uh, no, to be honest, that that's pretty much the end of the surprises that I got. Uh, How, wait, wait, did you see the, the 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 whale shark eat the things? No, we we were we were uh, to be honest, we we got early seats for the sea lion show. Uh, 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 to be honest, I'm really glad we did because we we sat our asses in what we thought was going to be the shittiest seat in the house because it's sitting like right behind a big old pillar. But but it turns out that there are three sea lions and they have video screens to let you see what's on the other side of the uh, pillar. So we were maybe five feet away from essentially fucking. Do you know sea lions are basically Weimaraners with tails? Like like uh, 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 he, no, you, I didn't. Uh, you 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 would know this. Um, oh my god. Uh, okay, all right. Uh, real my, quick. My first job was at the Oklahoma City Zoo, and part of my job was making sure that kids didn't get close enough to sea lions to get their fingers bitten off. Because apparently your fingers look like shrimp to sea lions, and they don't have very good vision. So if you wiggle your fingers like this, they'll try and bite them off. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, whoops. <laughs> uh, but, but, but as a person who is training your own pup, you you know the the whole thing that that like when Wallace is executing self control, there's a little bit of like kind of like you know, like you know wait for it, wait for it, you know, kind of like looking looking, you know, really wants to uh, all of that energy with with these uh, sea lions. It was it was it, to have it just right there in front of you. It's totally awesome. Go see the sea lions. Don't see the dolphins. Whatever. Don't. If they're so smart, then do tic tac toe. Don't choreograph. You know, what's and, really vicious is sea otters. Jesus Christ. Have you yeah. ever seen sea otters? Yeah. Because like. Like dolphins are like kind of kind of they're 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 perverts, but they're they're, they they're joyful. Whereas sea otters like kill things and have sex with them while they're still underwater. Like they drown them. Like dolphins, the French of the sea. Yeah. Sea otters, the Germans That's of the sea. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well put. Yeah. Well put. Oh. Yeah, good sea, at math. Though. Sea otters have good at math. Sea otters. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 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 They're good at industrial yeah. chemicals too. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So anyway, that was that was our aquarium adventure. That's the only stuff that I didn't tell Justin that uh, already. At, and then at, on at the way pizza. out, what? In a dapper suit, <laughs> there was a paraffin. A par paraffin? <laughs> what is a paraffin? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, well, I was paraffin. about to say pa pa paraffin is is the English word for uh, like kerosene. Yeah, you mean you mean like what we used candle to light wax. lamps with 20, yeah. 30 years ago? He walks or up to Brian <laughs> and says, "Hey." You're nice. <laughs> oh, that's the N word. He says nice. <laughs> to get the uncensored cut of this exact moment, mm -hmm. there's only one place for you to go, my friends, and that's to patreon.com slash great night. Yep. Patreon.com slash great night. Happy Juneteenth. 
Patreon.com slash great night. Hey, Brian. Why, we'll be here tomorrow morning doing another <laughs> show. Because that's what we do every Thursday. And when now that we do this show on Wednesdays, every Wednesday, just joking, we're going to be doing it on Tuesdays, uh, 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 we, will, we will do a show on Thursday. That's not a joke as well. It's going to be a fun time. Hey, head on over there. Give us money. Join our Discord. Uh, uh, Brian, did you know that I was uh, tracking you like Santa yesterday? No. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> when I told when, when I told our Discord, our hardest core fans, uh, uh, that uh, we were not going to do a show on Tuesday, I decided to give them a little something extra. And that is to track you like fucking Santa. Because- so it's just, it's just like uh, he's at the bar. He's at the bar. <laughs> he's at. The, he's on Snap. He's live. No, do you know that you share your location with me via the iPhone? Uh, uh, I, I assumed that was the case because at some point I noticed that you share your location, and so it's always funny to me because I normally don't really notice one way or the other until all of a sudden it's, I'm looking for like where my kids are, and it shows me the globe, and it shows you in Europe, <laughs> and then I'm like, yeah. oh, I guess Justin's out in Europe right now. Uh, uh, but yeah, wait, wait, do do you track me, Justin? No. Do you want me to kind of share your, share your location with me? I'll share your, I'll share my location with you. In fact, in fact, this is actually, how do I do this? Uh, can, can, can we share, uh, the, the connection to our friend on the West coast with this, Justin and what he was able to figure out from it? Uh, sure. Yeah. Oh, okay. So, uh, our friend Andrew Main was able to figure out his surprise party was coming specifically because uh, Justin stopped sharing his location, <laughs> and so yeah. and so and so Andrew Main was able to go like, "Oh, must be a surprise party coming." <laughs> yeah, he's uh, uh, joyless like that. <laughs> <laughs> also, must check his location sharing quite a lot. Uh. Uh, he must just want to know where Justin right, is. So I'm sharing my location with you, Andrew. So let, let's uh, see if you. How do I do this? If Wait, you okay. if you if you get that, then it might give you an opportunity to share your location. Share with me. I feel like we're taking our yeah. friendship like like you're now in a very elite club. Yeah, there this we go. This is very special. Wait, 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 people. Okay, Justin Robert Young. Yeah, he's in the same room as me. That's it. And apparently, my dad and my friend Nicholas Sperduti can see where I am. Feel like they're not utilizing this as much as they could. <laughs> uh, well, while Brian was driving back, I just kept hitting people with random towns in Louisiana <laughs> and Texas. So you know, you know, I'm not bullshitting when I say up at fucking five thirty, oh. fifteen hours oh, back no, home. No, no, no. You, I was wait, giving you were people... able to get your whole family to get up at five thirty. Yep, I, really. I, I was giving people a Gulf Coast version of Texas or of, of Santa. That, that that was <laughs> that was happening all uh, uh, yesterday evening in our Discord as people were were watching you go throughout Louisiana, uh, through the Baton Rouge area, down through Texas. When you were south of Waco, good God, was everybody excited? <laughs> Just- Jittering knees as they were wondering when you'd land, and then I started watching. Uh, uh, HBO Max, and I stopped updating when you got home. But I think, I, I think people picked it up. I feel like there was wasted opportunity for people to get ahead of the curve and like put up signs for the Brushwoods as they drove through their town. That was, yeah, like you're you're in uh, uh, Leaky Knee, Mississippi, or wherever. Mm-hmm. I don't know what your where where you Jowls. Alabama, but like like that one's like, oh that means they'll be passing through Scrum Pox the next twenty minutes. Yeah, so they go out there and like hold up a big diamond uh, diamond club sign. That'd be yep. cool. Yeah. Or you'll now never that, get away with it. Yeah. <laughs> stop Shame. Brush, actually, stop Stop Brushwood stop would have been great Brushwood. for multiple reasons. Because is it is it saying Brushwood stop? Or no. saying we should stop Brushwood? Stop Brushwood, yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, also, uh, I'm really glad nobody did that because I'd feel really bad for just blowing past them and not yeah. acknowledging it in any way. Oh, no. Brian would not be able to pass by an acknowledgement. Uh, he would stop and then his entire family would be mad. Yeah. Yeah. I kind of yeah. want to pick one town in Oklahoma and buy up a bunch of billboards to promote my show and just try to be a fake celebrity in, like, Guthrie. Can, I think can, that'd be kind of cool. But uh, Here's a pro tip. If you want to do that, open a law practice because apparently those yeah. people bought all of the billboards <laughs> and they, in order to stand out from the crowd, 
It was like there was one that was two dudes, two two white dudes, and it just they're like back to back, and as if it was money, it had a ribbon at the bottom, and it just said the pain guys. Nice. <laughs> so if you're in pain, you go to the pain guys. Uh, in in Mississippi, I think, uh, or Alabama, there's one that just was three billboards in a row that quite literally just said, "I'm Alexander," and had a picture of a guy. And there was literally nothing readable outside of that. And then after three of those, it said, pain and injury. <laughs> and that's, still, no call, no discernible phone number or <laughs> website. Yeah, I like this idea. Okay, because at first I thought maybe I would just have a big picture of me and then like a website. And it would just say, Andrew Heaton, join me. And like not explain what you're – maybe it's a cult. But then if I make myself look like an attorney, maybe – Drunks or something when they get a DUI will listen to my podcast. That'd be kind of fun. I, I I once advised you not to take out advertising on other podcasts, but then since then it appears to have worked out quite well for you. So I'm I'm not I'm no longer qualified in this. Uh, I think you're right where, about where it. Where did you take out advertising? Um, I well I did on Reason, which worked pretty well actually. I got yeah. I got some guests out of that and I got some follows out of that. There's been a bit of crossover, huh? Um, I don't think. I we, mean, but you're on that show <laughs> periodically. I've I've only been on the podcast once in the last six years. Uh, uh -huh. I, I used to um, I used to host yeah, but the spread out that timeline. Yeah, yeah. Um, I I start I hosted that podcast initially uh, when I was working at Reason, and then I went on vacation, and Matt Welch took over, and they have never invited me back until wow. until last month. Uh, and I was able to do it. Um, so I had them advertise, and I advertised. Is there any my... lingering bitterness with them? Yes, yes. Matt Welch remains my my arch nemesis and uh, and, friend, and good friend. Uh -huh. uh, uh -huh. uh, yeah, but I, and then this I this is I... going to play out in the third act. Anyway, yeah. go ahead. <laughs> yeah. uh, and then I I paid a group to like promote me on other shows. Mixed results on that. Mixed results on that. Yeah. But well, I like, hold on, I, hold on. Who, uh, who who accepts money to promote you on other people's podcasts? There's there's a couple of groups. That, do we want to get into this? It's less entertaining. I like I can I, I can I can go on some stuff about attorney billboards or I can get into the nuts and bolts of this. Where, I mean, where no, we no, you do attorney billboards. Okay. okay. All right. yeah, yeah. Attorney billboards. All right. I'm yeah. I'm changing position. Here's what I like about attorney billboards and what I like about attorney commercials is they all look angry on behalf of you. <laughs> like, like I was down in Galveston like 15 years ago now, and they used to have this advertisement for a guy. He wore a cowboy hat, and he was so angry. He'd be like, my name's Jeff uh, Constantine, and I can't believe the justice system. I'm here to fight for you. And then he'd, he'd put his hat on, and he'd storm off stage. <laughs> as if he was so angry that he couldn't even finish the commercial. And like, you know it's staged. You know that he didn't like barrel out of the shoot and then go directly to a courthouse like that was fake but it's still very compelling well and, and uh, uh speaking of staged and and uh, uh, this will be a short loop but like when we were doing part of the reason i hated the dolphin show is because uh i don't know what the fuck it is with every single animal show where they have to pause and guilt Americans about the Texas sized lump of uh, trash in the middle of the ocean of which, by the way, the United States contributes less than 1%. Everything yeah. else is China. I think you should uh, just shut up. At least we're not trapping dolphins in a pond for our amusement. <laughs> Who the fuck are you to judge us? Well, I recycle. So, you have a, a dolphin locked in a closet. <laughs> so they then they have to talk about how plastics are bad and and then they, they show a, a family walking on down an American beach sorting their recycling i kid you not not an exaggeration but my favorite bit is the part where they're like uh and we contribute to efforts to clean up the ocean uh cut to b-roll of somebody in scuba gear pulling out a, a, a fishing line from a coral and i'm like i know enough about production to be like motherfucker you put that there <laughs> you got in a scuba suit you went down to the bottom of the ocean and you put trash tucked it into a bunch of corals so that we could get this shot of you tenderly pulling it out i, I don't i don't understand you, that you know that that famous commercial from the 70s with with the crying indian who yes he wasn't somebody? actually he's indian. italian Did yeah you know that no that's fine. Yeah, yeah. He was Italian. I'm, I'm not going to be on the side. He of... should have then eaten a big bowl of pasta. <laughs> <laughs> and he should have cried. He fixed the toilet. <laughs> like, oh, like, like, he should have cried, like, oh, I'm crying. But then he eats a pasta and he goes, hey, and he smiles. Steps on a turtle, kicks a mushroom. <laughs> exactly.
gets stars you know? in his eyes. What, a lot, with Wallace Hitler? has been going to town on turtles recently. What? Uh, he not like in that way. His hobby, <laughs> his hobby is like I think from Wallace's perspective, he thinks that rocks are just uh, are like excuse me. He thinks turtles are like pervert rocks. Like he'll see mm. one and be like a rock that can walk. You stop that. Yeah. You stop that. Rocks don't walk. And then he'll pick it up. And I'll be like, put that down, because I don't know how this works. Like, if you can get like turtle salmonella or something like that. Then the other day, I came back and he, oh man, he one was a chew toy, and there was a lot of turtle guts all over our back porch. It was gross. I threw out the rug. What do you think happened? I think he <laughs> broke up with a turtle. I think he, <laughs> yeah, I, he fucked I, one I, up, I think, dog. I think he started, he started <laughs> he, chewing he, on it. He, yeah, and it, it was, he it was did it dirty, pretty hard, and he went challenge accepted. Yeah. I think that's what happened. He was like, oh, my Uber Eats is here. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. You're Uber, and I'm Eats. <laughs> uh, how, how is Wallace doing? Is he high right now? He's a little high. Yeah. If, if we Where go, is he? Is he, is he microdosing he's these days? He's on a, uh, he's on a, like a half dose of trazodone. So for, yeah. pe for people at home, one, uh, my dog is kind of nervous, and he doesn't travel well in cars. Mm -hmm. Two, I am an affluent white middle-aged man, and yeah. so of course I make my dog wear a, a necktie and take pharmaceutical products. Yeah, and uh, uh, yeah. Like, he, <laughs> How long till he has a startup? Yeah, he's. You know, well, at one point, fun fact. So last year he had cancer. He's doing great, by the way. But he had cancer, and I and my my listeners really helped out and paid for his uh, paid for his cancer treatment, which was absolutely wonderful. And there was like a thousand dollars left over, which I believe would be unethical for me to take for any purpose other than Wallace. So I cre I made an escrow account for him at his bank, uh, or at my bank. Sorry. I so anyway. The point is, at one point, my dog had more savings than I did, which was kind of funny. Uh, but uh, now I'm beating him. Nailed it in your fucking face, yep. dude. <laughs> and I don't don't. Tell Wallace, but inflation has actually reduced the, the dog escrow account. Hey, he has he invested Damn. poorly? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Uh, you better diversify your bonds, dog. Yeah. Uh, any any other uh, lawyer billboards? That hey, did you know that uh, 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 we got lied to? Uh, <laughs> the Kennedy assassination. Which, which, I agree. which time? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Which we which time? we went to the most famous lawyer in Austin. Oh yeah, the attorney that rocked. Yeah, he told us a secret. Yeah, and it turns out he's a he's. I'm not gonna. You know what? Legally, I cannot call him. A, I'm gonna say uh, we were misinformed after the our interview. We were told that the attorney that rocks was discontinuing his display ads. Uh, he was, I, I, he was I, no he, longer he's gonna have billboards. Fees, right? What? He's just referral fees now, isn't he? I mean, well, no, no, no. I mean, he, he, he runs in, a practice in, 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 and in all personal injury. You're not getting the guy like David J. Henry is not actually handling your case. Wait, you, game as four, four, four is not going to be my guy. <laughs> no. If I get hit by a track. No. Uh, so it, like, like he's not doing anything, anything weirder. Than also, if, 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 if you want to know what he actually said, because I can't remember if he said he's thinking of or he's gonna. Uh, uh, go back and check the transcripts. But no, this was we, off the record. This was like this was after we were done, I believe. Oh wait, no, 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 no. no, no. It, it was on the record on because the record. you posted yeah. it on Reddit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But uh, but but uh, uh, but regardless, um, uh, we were definitely led to believe that, uh, that that he was done with the billboards. But they are ever ever weird. No, turns out he's uh, still a legend. Yeah. I, oh, I, I wonder. I, I, I wonder I, how I, he's doing on pickleball, dude. Should I should I look him up look and see if he's up. on the seniors? Look him up. Okay. Yeah. No, because he was you know he was a tennis pro. Really? Yeah. The attorney that rocks. Uh, as a matter of fact, what he, a he was career. He yeah. was he was head coach of uh, Florida Gulf Coast University for multiple years. He had a practice here in Austin, and this is my memory, Your Honor. Uh, my memory says that he had a practice in Austin, and he he sold it, and he left, and he was head coach at GFCU for multiple years. Does he and, really in the wanted to program. be in tennis? Oh my God! Look at this—the Global Pickleball Network. I, do you remember on our way out? On our way out, no, his his dude, his assistant his, said his, his his major domo was like, "Homie's gonna be pro in pickleball. Uh, He's watch, gonna be a pro pickleball player. Uh, watch for him on the senior circuit." He said, "Five point pickleball player in Austin, Texas." Oh, dude, he's got a profile. Is pickleball on the Olympics yet? Uh, not yet. Look at that. If, he, if, he joined if, during the height of the pandemic. Yeah, playing if, levels. If it ain't, it ought to be. He's not playing a lot. Level expert. Accuracy. 
Oh wait. Uh, okay, so this looks like a network thing that that didn't get updated. Damn. Uh I finally got to play should pickleball. We go, should we go talk to him again? Yes. Right now? Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> I, I I strongly advise that we do not. <laughs> Your Honor. Let's call him. Here we go. Three, two, one. David. Okay. <clears throat> Hey, uh, uh, Mr. Comey. Yeah. Hey, uh, it's 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 Brian. Uh, I'm here with my friend Andrew Heaton. Uh, I, I I don't know if you're familiar. He's a political comedian. I thought you might be familiar with his work. Yeah. No. I. Yeah. I know him. Hi. <laughs> Hey, what's up, guys? What's hey, going listen, on? listen. I know this is kind of sticky, but I killed a man. Can you? Can you? I'm not. Can I? Yeah, I killed a guy. Can you? Do you handle that? Like, Yo, you rock. You rock. Yeah. You play pickleball. And, no, uh, totally. Yeah. Oh, of thank course. God. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Hold on. Wait. Woo. I gotta. Whoa. Hold on. I gotta ask you a few questions. Okay. <laughs> Go ahead. Yeah. Hold on. Wait, are you gonna hold ask me to pick a guard? On. Hold on. Are you legally my attorney right now? I feel like hold I should on. reveal. I, you know what? I've already blown. I, I admit it to murder. Chill. Hey, chill. Hey, okay, sorry, chill. You're right. Hey, you're chill. Right. Hey, he freaking chill. Is not gonna happen. Hey, chill. Okay. Hey, chill. Hey, chill. Where'd you kill the guy? <laughs> I'm not proud of this, but uh, crack, I need to know. Crack a real parking lot. Crack a barrel. Okay, sorry. I'm writing it down. Actually, I'm looking when at the form right now. He's got four options, and one of them is when, Cracker Barrel parking when lot. When did you kill the guy? Uh, yesterday, about 3 o'clock. Okay. Why did you kill the guy? <laughs> I like um, you, sound, you sound like a, a gatekeeper to a hey, fantasy room. Hey, <laughs> Brian. Sorry. I'm sorry, David. I love you. <laughs> okay. All right. David uh, Comey. <laughs> Okay, I'm sorry. Uh, I, I'm I, trying to ask my client I, why he killed a man in a Cracker he, Barrel he parking cheated, lot he, at 3 p.m. He cheated at pickleball. Pickleball. He cheated at pickleball. And the I take fuck? pickleball very seriously. Whoa, David hold on. Wait, he cheated at pickleball? <laughs> oh, whoa, somebody woke up. Holy yeah, fuck. That's right. I was, I was literally half asleep. <laughs> <laughs> I was doing that's how good I am. I was doing this half asleep. He cheated at pickleball. Cheated. How? Did he but, cross the center line? Yeah, he crossed He crossed the, the fucking center line on you? He crossed the center line. He crossed the fucking center line on you? Yeah. <laughs> By the way, accurate Justified. <laughs> Justified homicide. By the way, here's how I'm gonna argue. I'm gonna go in front of the judge. I'm gonna say Cross the center line, cunt. <laughs> uh, by the way, Andrew, I want you to Street know. Street justice. <laughs> this is an accurate representation of our interview with David Covey, the attorney that rocks. He is interested in order with uh, uh, pickleball, rocking, and a very distant third is lawyering <laughs> or attorneying. What uh, what project was this for? Where you interviewed him? Or, great or night. Had you both been arrested? It was for, no, for great yeah. Night. No, it was when we were doing audio only episodes. Okay. Yeah, it was it was during. We, a, we, didn't, uh, we didn't have any beholden nature to anything, and no, so no audio. April, and then was it no movies? May, and then <laughs> maybe some uh, uh, oh. video June or whatever. <laughs> Oh, I'm, I'm sure the, the chat realm remembers. Doesn't remember or like that. In fact, we probably did irreparable damage to our fan base. But uh, uh, but we loved it. The lawyer who balls. <laughs> and we'd do it again. <laughs> oh. uh, uh, yeah. No, it was, uh, uh, yeah, fun times. Hmm. Well, I'll try to get arrested. And, uh, Good. Uh, Good. Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. Audio only April. That's what it was. That Audio was only April. That Maybe was some video May. And then just a bit longer June. Yeah. <laughs> that's 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 what it was. That's what it was. <laughs> yeah. Because I was moving into town. So, you know, it, it took some time. Oh. Took some time. You know, Brian, you got to take some time. Sometimes. Uh, uh, yeah. That's true. You ever try to take time? Well, I mean, sometimes you ever, I, try, to, you ever try to snatch it. One snatch time, it? I, I shoplifted some time from H E B, and I went to jail because I didn't contact David Comey. Yeah. Mm. Uh, so what did what, what did you do while you're in jail? Because uh, you already had stolen the time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That, 
you know, just really thought about the nature of friendship, you know, mm. like joined some gangs, got to know some guys, got to know myself, did some work on me. Which gang you think you'd be in prison? Uh, if you, I mean, like, like, what, like, realistically, though, realistically, like what, what are my what options gang? for the yeah. gangs? I was gonna make yeah. up like a funny 1950s game, like, no, uh, you mean you could be in the, in, 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 no, in, in, the, in the white, white premises, right? Or the Aryan Brotherhood, the Aryan Brotherhood is Nation of Islam. Hold on, is that, wait a minute. I, hold on, hold on. Let me let me consult. Are they all my ethnic lawyer. or some of them religious? On, hold on, remember. hold on. Walls, well, do you want to go to prison? Yeah, you'd be a good person, oh, dog. God damn it. <laughs> Why isn't this working? Here we go. Name me some uh, prison gangs. Hey there. What's going on? I need you to name me some prison gangs. I mean, sure. I some well-known prison gangs include the Aryan Brotherhood, Mexican Mafia, La E, Black Gorilla Family, and the Texas Syndicate. What do you need this information for? Ooh. To see which uh, gang noted internet celebrity Andrew Heaton would join <laughs> if he were put for a lengthy prison sentence. That's an interesting thought. <laughs> doesn't seem to fit the typical profiles of prison gangs, but it's an intriguing <laughs> hypothetical. What's the context for this discussion? <laughs> Andrew Heaton, noted internet celebrity from his Funny Reason videos, has committed a crime for which he did not actually commit. But you don't find that out until the third act. But in the meanwhile, he has to go to prison and join a gang. Which gang does he join? Got it? That sounds like a plot twist. Given Andrew Heaton's comedic and intellectual persona... He might humorously navigate towards a non-threatening group like the sensitive thugs who are in touch with their feelings if they existed. Wow. Looks like AI got my number. <laughs> AI was like, where would fake B-list Craigslist Will Rogers go? A fake gang in, the in touch with his feelings. Thugs. Yeah, the sensitive thugs. That's absolutely the gang I'm joining is the sensitive thugs. Uh, please promise me that next time I see you, you will have a temporary tattoo across your neck that says sensitive thugs. Yeah, yeah. We I, I get like a blue teardrop. It has nothing to do with killing a guy. It just shows that we're not afraid to cry. He has, he has, he has a teardrop tattoo, but it's in italics. <laughs> He's the sensitive thugs. Serif, yeah. <laughs> Damn, I'll tell you what. It's what fucking AI what, what comedy's Chat already GPT here. Was that? was that? Or was that ChatGPT? Yeah, it was. It's yeah. one of the different voices on there? Well, they took away my fucking number one voice. Uh, yeah, emphasis on the word fucking. Yeah. Did you they, have like a no, no, sultry no, no, porn uh, voice? Uh, no, uh, Scarlett Johansson took away my oh, favorite right. voice because... They said it sounded like her, but it didn't even fucking sound like her. I, I, sweet, I guarantee you, they're all sky, like, they're, "My they're, sweet Sky, bring back Sky." They're, 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 hey, Scarlet, <laughs> bring back Sky, bring back our girls. <laughs> <laughs> She's like a uh, uh, Scarlet. Uh, remember that movie where you pretended to be a robot? There are five voices, and I'm sure, like from the shadows, smoking a cigar, she was like, "Which one sounds the hottest?" It's Sky, man. <laughs> She's like, kill it. <laughs> That's that. Yeah, stupid. Mm -hmm. I used to have a nice, hot assistant. And now, and she's good. The new one's fine. She's not Sky. Have, have you had it randomly switch up the voices on you? No. I have, and it was very awkward <laughs> because all of a sudden, like I, I have, I have like the 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 chill dude guy voice, yeah, yeah. And then uh, because my family mocks me if I have a girl one, uh, and then uh, uh, it switched to a woman voice, uh, unbeknownst to me. And I was like, I swear it wasn't me. And they're all like, Why would that? Why is that weird? And I'm like, Because it's like imagine asking your dad a question and me responding, Oh, I think it'll be fine. <laughs> like you get used to personalizing yeah yeah fucked up apparently they can take the sky from me yeah huh yeah lots kids excuse me am i right am i right the sky <laughs> is huh? falling huh joss whedon fans <laughs> i was about to say right? boy remember when that was remember uh, dvds <laughs> <laughs> remember when that was uh, uh, just pure 
Sure. Yeah. And then Joss Whedon did a a, a, a thing about how he watched a, a kid die. Wait, what? Yeah. What? For that? Uh, I don't. No. Is in what Joss is that? Whedon's comeback when he was trying to come back from uh, uh, being a apparently terrible person. Uh, he did a bio where uh, he led a journalist into his life talking about his entire career and talked about like, hey, you know, look, I've made bad mistakes and uh, I'm a flawed person because one time I watched a kid drown. Yeah. I've watched 20, 30 kids drown. And I'm fine. <laughs> <laughs> That's a bullshit excuse. <laughs> now, I don't do that recreationally anymore because in retrospect, it's kind of fucked up. I've been clean for a good two years now, but still. Well, yeah. It didn't do anything to me. Nope. Did, uh, did, did, Iron will. <laughs> what, was he watching like on TV or the internet? Nope. Well, just in real person. And his friend life. went down to the pond. Only one came back <coughs> and his name was Joss. Yeah, and that that's a thing that he could feel it coming in the air tonight. And and the the Joss Whedon brain was thinking, think of a memory that will cause Joss Whedon unit to become more empathetic to human people. Some memory I guess, I mean, of if, if, watching if, human die. <laughs> if if you want to look at it from that perspective, yeah, I, I don't know whether or not he's just a fucked up person who. It's just like, I don't know, like, life's fucked up, so here's a fucked up part of things. But also, he's just like, the shit he was accused of is being a megalomaniac in Hollywood who made sexist and misogynistic decisions in his script and his direction, which is, in his defense, how his entire industry operated until about five minutes before that was super uncool. I was about to say, like... And like, he was, like, really, really, really successful right up until he was an apostate who needed to be kicked out. Like, so I could understand his confusion, at the very least, in how fast things changed. Uh, like, I wanted to make the joke about, like, man, all I heard was Hollywood, 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 internet... And then that's the uh, uh, Merrill actually has the the uh, uh, quote here from the story, Brian. If you want to read that, <clears throat> I sure do. Uh, at the age of five, oh, okay, that does change. A friend, age four, died by drowning in a pond on the Whedon's upstate property. His parents divorced when he was nine. Whedon, uh, Whedon cited his childhood trauma as having a direct influence in his relationship. Okay, yes, I would imagine that would be kind of a bummer. Oh wait, hold on, hold on. Can we parse this? For a second. Sure. Because I definitely did not <laughs> look at it like this when I was first reading it. At the age of five, his friend drowned. His friend was four. Yes. Tragedy. The next sentence is his parents divorced when he was nine. Yes. Four years later. Yes. Why do you put those together? Uh, because the Olympics were on again. <laughs> yes, <laughs> these these things only are relevant when the Olympics like, are on. Like because 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 the U.S. stopped boycotting the Olympics that year. <laughs> they were in L.A. instead of because it's like it's like oh uh, at the age of five his friend died after drowning. It's like oh okay next sentence. I'd like to hear more about that. That's a horrifying fucked up thing. His parents divorced when he was nine. <laughs> Whoa! Like, literally nothing. Nothing about him in those four years. Nothing about his parents in those four years. Nothing about anything else that happened in those wait, four wait, years. Wait, 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 hold We're on. We're just memory holding those four if years. If I can get my parents to divorce, do I get to go back to being a misogynist? Yeah. Uh, okay. <laughs> All right. But only, only when the Summer Olympics is yeah. happening. That's why I can still call people cunts. Yes. <laughs> there you go. Because my parents got divorced. Mm -hmm. As the only child to divorce, I'm going to exhibit divorce privilege. <laughs> nice. Uh, so uh, uh, while I was while I was off being um, uh, Salt Marsh Santa, uh, mm -hmm. uh, uh, wait, where's Salt Marsh? Uh, well, like you said, an hour north of Jacksonville, uh, the place is uh, Darien, Georgia. Mm -hmm. Um. Boy, really, really uh, like a thorn in your brain when you are like, what a lovely place that used to be a plantation. This house was built in 1854. I wonder by 
Ooh. Mm. Uh, mm. It's a little, it's a little bit of a mm. little thing, a little thorn in your brain. Yep. Yeah. Um, and then, yep. Uh, uh, but, uh, but, but we, we did have. There was only one thing. There's, uh, they got these channels. You Happy know. Juneteenth. Oh damn it! All right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even gonna tell this. Story no, now. go, go, go. It's uh, fine. Uh, no, just, just that. Uh, uh, I'm, I'm an alum of South Plantation High School. <laughs> <laughs> really I not? literally left the plantation, <laughs> ben, and I graduated in June. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, uh, the whole story about is this okay to laugh at? I don't know. <laughs> uh, anyway, they got these uh, title channels, and apparently uh, a bunch of alligators, like we saw in that those discovery videos, uh, and yeah. uh, uh, you know a little bit of fishing. But there was a pod of uh, wild dolphins that would come in. You know, uh, on one around one time at high tide, and then leave. You know, eat a bunch of fish and then leave. And uh, Bonnie was like, "Oh, I'm gonna go see. It. I'm gonna go see it." And so she gets up before the crack of dawn, like like an hour before I was up. I walk out like way down this dock, and she's there. Like uh, uh, she's got like a safari hat on and binoculars, and she's on a stake. She has a mustache on. She's an, on a stakeout, and uh, uh, having a chat. And she's like, "Yeah, I've been here an hour. Oh, okay, yeah." And we we sit there for another two hours, and she's like, "You know, I'm just gonna go grab." Callie, Josie shows up. Hey, what's going on, Josie? Josie's like, I don't know. I'm going to fire around and take some pictures. Um, and then uh, uh, in the five minutes that Bonnie was gone, we see a fucking amazing pod of wild dolphins <laughs> come by. And then they actually start tearing fish up and, and jumping over each other. And it was amazing. And, and, and Josie got pictures of all this shit. And then, and then they, they vanished. And I swear to God, less than two minutes later, body comes dragging Callie who's like I, I don't want to blah, blah, blah. and she's like I'm sorry Callie was being a real toot and it was really hard to get her out but here we are and then just Josie and I are just frozen like like the, like the thought genuinely occurred to me like just 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 say let's let's look for dolphins yeah <laughs> and never admit it so it sucked she you was should, uh... she was Angry. You should get a dolphin mm. whistle. That way, yeah. next time you're at uh, Salt Marsh, yep, you can g just go Woo, or whatever the now. Okay, now now that that makes sense when you're training dolphins, but like it's not like they love high pitched sounds that come running when they hear one. They do actually. Yeah. What? Yeah. Yeah. They do. What? Yeah. You just have to get a whistle the same yeah, size yeah, as yeah. a blowhole. Well, yeah, and you have they'll, to they'll know like, the right. You have to know the right high pitch uh, yeah, noises. Be the, wait, the, the, yeah. There's a come hither. There's yep. a come hither. Don't no, uh, whistle, uh, 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 Brian, Brian. You don't know it. <clears throat> I mean, like, I, 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 you can buy a whistle on Amazon if you want to do it easy, but uh, you can also just do it with your mouth. You, do you not know the? No, the no, noise? I, do, I, 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 do, I don't. Can you? Can you walk me through this? Sure. Yeah. 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 Okay. <laughs> Let me Wait, so it's a, it seems like how would you make a whistle that does that? No, you just do that with your mouth. <laughs> well, then what's the whistle? It's basically an no, 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 adapted that, no. turkey call. To a dolphin, that is a whistle. I well, I know, I know, but yeah. you said that there are whistles I could buy on Amazon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, you have a, a whistle makes that sound. R right, right. Yeah. It's from like uh, uh, China. <laughs> okay. Yeah. And so they, now, what they is just it? Make them. They make them. There's a lot of manufacturing going on in China, Brian. But what what is it that the dolphins love about that sound? Oh, mostly just that it's warm, <laughs> and and, they, yeah. and the sea is cold. It, well, I mean, it just reminds them of like Thanksgiving and yeah. you know, like like fun dolphin, which times. is in October yeah, yeah, for yeah. dolphins. <laughs> yeah, exactly, the in 1972. Canadians. I had no season. idea There's that the like two a lot of you... things that like like it re it, it it reminds dolphins of. Well, now, now, Justin, it makes sense that you would know about dolphins. You're a Florida man, exactly. Uh, uh, but, but Heaton, you're from Oklahoma. Yeah. What uh -huh. the fuck do you know about <laughs> dolphins? Well, for two reasons. First, first, as I said earlier, my first job was at the Oklahoma City Zoo, mm -hmm. so I'm the only person here who has worked with dolphins technically. 
Second, <laughs> yes, not a lot of people know this. Mm-hmm. Dolphins are just cows that lost their One legs. time I did work the Super Bowl that was at the Dolphins Stadium, but we're not <laughs> comparing notes. Go ahead. <laughs> the main thing is, yeah, dolphins are just legless cows. A lot of people don't know this. It's kind of like how whales are just fat dolphins. <laughs> I'm sorry, that last one. Yep, and Grab manatees it. are just really, really fat sea lions. Think about it. <laughs> I mean, I guess it, it kind of aren't some of them mammals and some fish. No, they're all mammals for yeah. sure. They're all yeah, mammals. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They all got hairy titties. Yeah, uh, nipples and everything. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Squirting. <laughs> now, now, conversely, though, the duckbill platypus. <laughs> Just is, no, I'm I'm ready for that shit. The duckbill platypus. <laughs> I'm ready for that shit right now. <laughs> pervert beaver that I don't think even exists. I think the no. platypus is probably a prank. I, uh-huh. think, I think the Australians made that one up. I don't think they're real. Yeah, fake. Because it's, it's a it's a duck beaver that Get lays eggs? Here. Bullshit. No, wait, oh, oh, Bullshit, oh, Australia. Fuck you. Wait, oh, 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 I'm sorry. Hold on. Your uh, prime minister disappeared. Yeah. Get the fuck yeah. out of here. Show us Harold Holt, and then maybe we'll believe That you. entire continent is waiting for Ashton Kutcher to say it's a prank. <laughs> do, uh, do, do... The mammalian sea creatures actually have nipples that suckle. How else would they feed them? Yeah. I, I, I assume they would, like, chew up a fish and spit it in their gullet or something. Sounds gross. <laughs> that, I mean, could be. And they're chewing up fish. Can you fucking believe that? I'm pr- they got hairy nips. They squirt sea milk. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you I've ain't never... never suckled a sea milk. <laughs> Wait, hold on. For real though, does this mean that you could drink dolphin milk? Yeah, like in the same way that we drink cow milk uh-huh. and goat milk. Hold on, let me go to could eBay. Could you get manatee milk? Look that up on Amazon. No, I'm going to eBay on that. No, shit. go to Timu. Here's another thing: in science, <laughs> in science fiction, hot <laughs> rep boys, they'll Do- sell anything on Timu. <laughs> they don't give a fuck. <laughs> hold on, what would I search for? <laughs> dolphin milk. Yeah, yeah, dolphin milk. <laughs> go on Timu and search for 1996 gold medal. You'll find one. Yeah, I'm not seeing back. <laughs> I'm not seeing, uh, I'm seeing like a crystal ware called dolphin milk, uh, white milk glass. Dol- they're just things of dol- uh, Okay, let me see. That's what happens in Biden's America. Can, can you bring up your virtual assistant chat GPT lady again? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Hold on. All right. Now, while he's doing that. I'm looking to suck from the titty of a dolphin. How's that work? <laughs> I'm not sure what you mean by that. Could you clarify or provide more context? So a dolphin's a mammal, right? You try to cross-examine her. Yes, to... dolphins are mammals. They give birth to live young and nurse their offspring with milk produced by mammary glands, similar to other mammals like humans and whales. Yeah, there you go. So they got titties that squirt milk. Uh, uh, how can I get that milk? Dolphins nurse their young underwater, and their milk production is for their calves, not for human consumption. For if now. you're interested in dolphin biology or conservation, there are plenty of Tell her it's research for a movie. Learn more. I'm thinking it'd be very salty. I'm thinking whale milk and dolphin milk would, oh would my be God. very salty. <laughs> Look how much I violated the terms of you. Oh, my God. It just keeps <laughs> um, more. Chad GBT, Chad GBT hit me with a lot of terms of use violations. You just, I'm getting kicked out of the beta program tomorrow. You, you, you just got three also, strikes in one question. The only other time that I got hit with that many was... Uh, uh, my wife has been watching Bridgerton. Spoilers for this season one of Bridgerton. But there's a plot line about, because uh, uh, this is in a Victorian era where women do not know how sex works. They are not like, like brought up to understand how it works. And so this woman gets married and has sex. But this guy's like, I'm not going to be a father. And she just thinks that it's because of force of will that she's not getting pregnant. She finds out halfway through the season that he's coming on the floor. <laughs> and uh, uh, so I asked, wait, does it make like a flack noise? Like, do they have a sound effect for that? Uh, this is how my wife is describing it to me. I did not watch it, but she's like, oh, he's he's shooting outside of her. And then I'm like, oh, well, where was he coming on the table or on the floor? And so I asked comically in the same way I did there. Chat GPT. Yo, Bridgerton man, does he come on the table or on the floor? And then Chat GPT sheepishly answers, 
on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, uh, but uh, then hit me with a terms of service thing. Uh, so, yeah. uh, 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 I'm getting I'm getting kicked out of the beta program. All right. So uh, uh, we talked about lawyer billboards. There's another set of billboards that you see all the way down I-10 and oh, I-20. Oh yeah, Bucky, Bucky Beaver, motherfucker. Bucky's. Um, they uh, advertise all their jerkies, and so uh, we stopped in at a Bucky's, and they got this giant meat counter. And uh, it's nothing but an array of fine jerkies. Yeah. And then there's like a weird barrier. There's a partition. Like one is in solitary confinement. All the other beef jerkies, all 17 of them are in gen pop. There's one that actually has a barrier and is in solitary confinement. And that's the ghost pepper beef jerky. Damn. We're Wait. doing fucking bits. Well, I, 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 I bought, I bought an entire array, a flight of beef jerky and my, my jerky sommelier, Josie, I would just, I would make it about an hour, you know, 60 miles. And I'd say, uh, sweetheart, will you please hand me the lemon pepper jerky? <laughs> and she would hand me one piece at a time. Cause I was driving. Uh, but, uh, if you gentlemen are interested Give me that ghost pepper. Okay. All right. All right. Uh, I'll split it three ways, and and we'll see we'll see how good it is. How yeah. hot is this? Because I'm a coward. Yeah. Yeah. We're we're gonna find out. Uh, you, can just, you can just uh 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 touch your tongue to it. Yeah. Right, I'll do that. Yeah. I, I'm gonna I'm gonna split it three ways, and and I'm gonna have Nathan take it on over. Here we go. There's one. Piece I'll just split it two, and 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 he can lick mine. <laughs> <laughs> okay. There you go. All right. Uh, ghost pepper, uh, renowned to be the world's sissiest pepper. Oh my God, I'm holding it under my face. No, no, no. Oh, oh yeah, wait. There we go. Oh goodness. Yeah. You can, you can, you can put it down if you're not into it. I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna see you guys first. Before yeah. Because I'm right. not real familiar. Oh with no, ghost no, 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 no. Yeah. You, you have to just, just touch your tongue to it, and then, and then that'll be it. That's all you have to do. Pretty simple, eh? So far, so good. Uh huh. Mm hmm. All right. I'm gonna. I'm gonna take. I'm gonna take a. Yeah, I'm taking a bite. I'm taking a bite. Uh, well. All right. Ah. It's so sweet. I mean, this is like for people in Texas. Like so, like it's not actually hot. Oh shit! We didn't even get to the piggly wiggly. Your Bonnie and I have chanted over and over again your admonishment that of uh, your reminder that. A quick reminder that Texas is not the South, or Austin is not Texas, and Texas, Texas is, is not, not the, the South. South. Yeah. Higgly Wiggly is twice removed. Yeah. <laughs> mm. Okay, that's it's hot, but it's so far. Yeah, this is actually good. Not uh, like by the way, fun. serious warnings coming from the chat saying don't touch anything with that hand for 24 to 48 hours. Ah, uh, fine. I'm going to stick it right up my Definitely, soul. Definitely don't touch your face. No, no, don't touch right your face. My dick. Oh, my God. I'm a noodle. Uh-huh. Should I do another? I'll do another bite. Ah. I'm so far. I'm okay. Okay. So far. Yeah. Because you're not needing the ghost pepper itself, right? It's like pepper no. flavor or something. No, no. What? Oh. You eat the whole thing? Mmm. Mmm. That's my time, y'all. Uh, Justin. Yeah. I sent you that photo of, uh, or I don't know if I sent you the one of Josie inside the Piggly Wiggly where she's pointing at the giant tub of peanuts. Yep. Did you happen to see the faces of the people behind her looking at her taking a photo? Pointing they were looking them? odd, yeah. Yeah. yeah, they, they, yeah. They were looking askance. Uh, Bonnie, for some reason, never noticed uh, the uh, the re their reactions to <laughs> us being surprised by the number of peanuts. Okay, there it is. It's starting to hit, hit now. Yep. Oh, all right, just keep going. Ah, there you go. I'm going to take a break for a minute. Oh, are you sure? I want to know the full effect of this before I gobble the whole thing. Ah. Oh, man. Justin just sees... Oh, my God. He just tore Heaton's remaining ghost pepper jerky. No, no, no. He still got some. Yeah. I, 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 just got, I, I just got the tip. Right, he sorry. Get you tore anyway. it in half. You halved it again. Yeah. Mm. All right. I like jerky. I do, too. Actually, uh, uh, <clears throat> ghost peps not this is not so bad. I I, th I I don't think it's gonna get any worse. Yeah, I think I think it's fine. I think I think I think I think it was juvie solitary. Yeah. Okay. I, I think I, th I think if this my, I think if this jerky mine, had David Comey representing it, it would have been off by now. Yep. 
You'll be out playing pickleball. Weirdly, this is the thing about Texas is that Ooh, everything going. is on base average slightly hotter than it would be elsewhere. But things that say they're spicy are less spicy than you would imagine. So, like, in the Bay Area, things, like, that if they don't say they're spicy, they will be less spicy than they would be otherwise here in Texas. Like, like they'll be a little bit spicier. But things that say they're spicy in the Bay Area are going to be, like, fucking Indian spicy or Nepalese yeah. spicy. Like, that kind of, like, uh, or, like, super Mexican spicy. Whereas here, everything is kind of homogenized as more than the baseline, but you're more likely to be fooled by something that says it's crazy spicy uh, because on average, a spicy thing is not what you would otherwise imagine. Hmm. That makes sense? Yeah. We've got like a higher Welcome to my spice, talk. but we don't have a higher like extreme bell curve. I, I get it. I've got yeah. a, but it's shaped like a bell pepper instead of a bell. Exactly. Yeah. Whew. All right. Do you really thought that's wait? So, so that's really spicy to you, Brian? <laughs> no, you it's 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 not it's not painful. It's just a uh, saliva inducing, and it, it, just, it is it, just, it is definitely warm. building. It, it definitely sits there. Uh, that, that, it's, that's, it's, that's the thing with ghost peppers that it, it actually just sits with you for a little minute. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna take a shit. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. There's a glitch in the matrix. <laughs> Somewhere that if you eat spicy foods, it cools you down because it opens your capillaries. No, because ever... it makes you sweat. That's, that's... Oh, that's it? It just makes you sweat? Yeah. And then you're you don't like that. I don't like sweating. Yeah. Here's, yeah. There's one thing I know about this guy. He fucking hates it. Yep. Don't like uh, it at uh, all. Uh, <laughs> is it, um, <clears throat> uh, I don't know if I'm talking out of school. Uh, uh, bon Bonnie, I, I was asking... Bonnie, why after playing pickleball, Penny was kind of walking like a marionette with her arms out, and and this is Bonnie's interpretation. And if she's mistaken, then feel free to clarify it and understand she means no ill will. She goes, "Yeah, it's because Penny hates sweaty armpits." She's like, "That's why Heaton used to walk the same way." Now I have never noticed you walking like a marionette, but Bonnie's remembering of the story is that you walked like a marionette. No, it, it's just pure awkwardness and lack of coordination. It's never <laughs> like well, this. This makes sense to walk like this. If I'm doing it, it's because I'm just weird and stilted. Because I built like a fucking praying mantis. <laughs> Bonnie's memory. No, no, your wife's just making fun of my form and figure. That's it. That's no. Nothing to do with all the other stuff. Bonnie's memory was that Jeremy Grigg was the one who was just oh, like he was. Jeremy was, told what me you that. need to do is get some fabric that breathes groove, huh? and then yeah. all, and then all of a sudden you walk around like cock of the walk. Uh, yeah, yeah. No, that, one one time, yeah, because that was Jer Jeremy Grigg. His he used to live in like Singapore or Thailand or something, and I was like, God, that's even hotter. And he's like, No, no, there's a strategy. You just you walk very slowly, and you you kind of like open up your your various joints so that there's no heat buildup and you just kind of float around. And so like, I think I practiced one time, but I don't walk that way normally. Yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, but, it, but it wasn't a case where all of us, I mean, you, uh, how many suits do you have, Andrew? Two. No. I don't know. Eight. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, we don't mess around with the pinky promise, my friend. Uh, I, I don't, don't ask him dumb questions. I don't know off the top like of my head. Suits. Well, plus, like, do you mean suits or blazers? Is a difference? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, 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 this man is in a Does sartorial this level that, that we are that we are not in. I probably have like two to four suits and six to seven blazers. Brian, you you and I, our wardrobe could best be summed up by. A pile on the floor of a dormitory. Like, like we are we are not anywhere near where this man thinks about fashion. This man thinks about fashion in colors and patterns that our, our simple brains couldn't even begin. We're like we're like dogs trying to look at a color chart. Yeah. Exactly. How, how do you Brian, stomach being around? Right us? now, I'm not even wearing a blazer. I'm wearing a 1960s or 1970s vintage batwing polyester shirt. Look how big these wigs are. Look at that. They're huge. I mean, uh, first of all, they are also. It does look like you're about to discover a planet filled with apes. Uh, uh, it, yeah. it, it looks like he's about to get broken up with Rachel Vice before she goes on an adventure with The Rock. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. Well, uh, I guess let's. Uh, oh man, Ghost Peppers uh, di didn't 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 uh, explode our. Look at that. Justin ate the last of it. Nice. We uh, we're all glowing though. Maybe we're all pregnant. Huh, oh, good. I saw my daughter's face for the first time. 
Oh, yeah, that yeah. little thing. You saw your daughter's face for the first time today. All right. So I went to the medical center. I'm, and I had a 3D <laughs> imaging. I'm, hold on. You went I, to the medical I center. You had saw, a 3D imaging. My daughter has a fat fucking nose. Your daughter? <laughs> She might be eight months old, but she's kind of a four. Yeah, but she's got a great personality, so it'll it'll balance out. <laughs> Fat face. <laughs> I was, I got a, Hit the music. I gotta try to find the music. <laughs> Oh my God! All right, what's the reason? Uh, all right, uh, 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 hey, uh, Andrew Heaton, is there anything you'd like to plug? Uh, you know, check out the. Pl- you know what? I, uh, yes, actually, uh, I brought back my comedy history podcast, Losers, Pretenders, and Scoundrels. So oh, it is quite good. This Thank you. this one, it, Thank you it's very a two parter that you're talking yeah, about, right? Yeah, with with uh, John Romulus uh, Brinkley. Uh, we've done two since then. We've been doing it out once a week. So for people watching that are like, I think that guy's funny, but I don't want to watch him talk about politics. Listen to Losers, Pretenders, and Scoundrels, because just me dicking around with a comedian friend talking about really funny people from history. Uh, right on. Uh, Justin, um, is there anything more you'd like to say to, that you'll regret about your beautiful, beautiful daughter? No, I love you, babe. All right. <laughs> uh, man, uh, what, uh, thank you to everybody in chat realm who showed up on our normal night of, of Wednesday. Uh, we'll see you in 16 hours for the bones. Hell yeah. You beautiful patrons. We're finally, we're going to get real up in this shit. We are. Uh, Andrew Heaton, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. Uh, we oh, will- now it's hot. Wow. Yeah, that last piece, hotter than I thought. I, I'm looking forward to washing my hands. It got, it got stuck between my teeth. <laughs> now my gums, low, 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 heating up. Oh, okay. It's uh, heating up. It's heating up. Uh, look, Chat Realm, we love you. Um, die in a fire. See you next Tuesday. It's been a great night. I'm just gonna fade it up. I don't wanna wash my hands. See, that was a good fade. And now I'll stop the recording. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye.